y'all, it's Lindsay. I am back with another video, and for today, I am going to be doing a diabetes related video, but a different kind of diabetes related video. So, recently, I have been looking into the Myabetic Diabetes, like, crossbody, like, bags, like the, those, and then the, it can be like a clutch, too, or like a wristlet. I've been looking into those, but they're super expensive. Um, and I've been looking into the ones you can get at Target now, and I couldn't find them at my Target. I didn't want to spend $30 on them. I'm sorry, I was just going to suffer and use the meter case I had. But I went to TJ Maxx today and found something that works that I am super excited to share with you guys. So, with that being said, let's just jump into the video. Okay, so I am obsessed with Vera Bradley. Or when I was younger, I was... I really like the wallets. I have a ton of their bags. Um, I still use a Vera Bradley wallet. It actually looks like this. It is the wristlet. I love this thing. I've had this thing for like three years. It's great. It's amazing. It holds everything I need. It has an ID slot. Um, it has a spot for a phone. My phone does not fit in it. I have an iPhone 6, so it doesn't fit in here. But it has a spot for change and cards and cash, and I really, really like this wallet. Um, and the purse that I use right now is this humongous Michael Kors bag. I love this bag, but I just don't want to have to carry a huge purse all the time. But having diabetes, it's really hard not to carry a purse. And I know that it's always kind of like, this is going to sound really, really like silly and stupid, but like none of my friends are diabetic. So they can just bring this and their keys. I don't have my keys in there. They can just bring their wallet with cash and they're good to go. But being diabetic, you can't do that. You have to think about snacks in case your sugar gets low. You have to think about your meter. You have to think about extra sight changes, extra tubing, anything like that that could possibly go wrong while you're hanging out with them. So I was at TJ Maxx today and I found this Vera Bradley wallet and I'm super excited about it. Um, I got it for $17.00. Um, at TJ Maxx and it is originally a $34 wallet um, so this is the wristlet it's just called the wristlet in barbecue that's the pattern I believe right there um, and it's actually like pretty pretty big like here's my face here's the wristlet but it has like the whole like wristlet strap it has a pocket right here and then it has like the main pocket right here. So I was thinking, hmm, get my brain churning. I could put my meter in here and put my, my like wallet stuff, so like my license, my college ID, my cash, my rewards cards I use often, um, and then put my meter and any diabetes supplies and snacks in here that I could possibly need when going out on like a date with my boyfriend or anything like that, just hang out with friends. So I came home and I crammed all my stuff in here and I'm going to turn the camera around and show you guys how everything fits in here. I'm actually super, super excited about this because everything fits in here. And when I say everything, I mean extra sight changes, extra lancets, my meter, a snack, alcohol wipes, tubing, everything fits in here on top of normal wallet stuff. So you can literally just buy this wallet and put all your diabetes supplies in it and just take this with you. So I'm going to now proceed to show you guys how everything fits. And I do use two different kinds of um, insets or like sites. I use the inset 30 and then I use the T90. Um, because I put the inset 30 in my stomach and I put the T90 in my leg. So those both fit in here, not at the same time. But anyways, let's just jump into how I fit everything in here. Okay, so this is my old meter case. This is the one that came with the meter I use. Um, and for everyone wondering, I use the Vario IQ meter. And there's just a little, I forgot to stick the control solution in here. But honestly, I don't use control solution very much, but this does fit in there. Um, so I just have a ton of extra strips and then this has a little like mesh pocket right here. So that is the meter case I use. Um, it's just a plain black meter case which works. It does the job. It's not cute. It's not really supposed to be cute though, but it does do the job. So that is what I use. And then this is the wallet. This is just a closer look at it. So it's black with white 
gray and lime green like leafage. That's what it reminds me of, honestly. Um, it's really, really pretty actually. And it's kind of like a more mature Vera Bradley pattern, which I like. So in this pocket, I actually have nothing, but I will probably just throw like change in here or anything like that. Um, but currently it's empty. Now the only thing is my phone won't fit in here. Well, I mean it would if I didn't have all this diabetes stuff in here, but my phone is in my pocket 99% of the time. So I don't have to worry about that. Moving on to the big pocket, there is this wristlet strap, obviously. Um, you unzip it and this is what it looks like. So back here, I just have my debit card and then a Kroger card and a Speedy Rewards card because those are the two places I go the most. I have some cash in this next pocket. I always like to have some cash on me um, just in case something happens. We're just gonna tuck this little guy over here for now. Um, and then back here, I have my license, my college ID, and then tucked back here, I have a couple of um, alcohol wipes. I do not use alcohol wipes every time I prick my finger. Um, if I eat something sweet and sugary, then I do because I have had misreadings without doing that. So I really only need two alcohol wipes. I can obviously put more back here, but I just stuck them back there so that I know where they are. Now, moving on to the main pocket. Over here, I just stuck the One Touch Vario IQ control solution. Um, basically, if you aren't diabetic, what you do with this, if you think your strips for your meter are bad, you just put a drop of this on the strip, and then on the back of here, it tells you if your strips are fine, what the range of them should be. Um, I don't know what it says on here. Oh, it says it on your strip bottle. So this is nice to have. I rarely have to use this, but I would rather be safe than sorry and bring this with me. Um, the next thing I have in here are some extra needles for my poker. I call it a poker, it's a lancing device, but yeah, I just ripped my tape. Go me. Go, Lindsay, go. Go, Lindsay, go. Okay. Okay. Washi tape, you're failing me right now. Making me look bad, Washi. You're making me look bad. Um, But I just like to tape this because it won't stay closed. And of course, when I actually want to show someone, it won't open. So I just have the One Touch Delica Lancets because that is the poker I use. There's like nine more in here. I rarely change this, but I do like to change it often. This is just like the pack that came with them. And I just roll it up so that they don't get all over the place in my bag. So I just roll them up and stick them down with washi. So I have those tucked in there. Um, I have a paper towel. I like to wipe, sorry if you don't like blood, I like to wipe the blood off of my fingers onto a paper towel. So I have that. Um, then the star of the show is my meter. This is the Vario IQ meter. I love this meter. I haven't set it up completely to how well it actually works because I know you can do like before meal and after meal like patterns and it'll like catch up on those patterns. I haven't set it up yet. Um, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna like it. So yeah, but I do have this in here. So the great thing about this meter is this part lights up when you're checking your blood sugar. So, and it's super thin, it's like an iPod. I love this meter so much. Um, and then I have the Lancet over here. Again, this is the One Touch. Delica. This is, in my opinion, the best one if you poke your finger. I hate poking my fingers. Forever I poked my arm, like my arms are all scarred up, like those are all scars from where I used to check my blood sugar on my arm um, because I hated checking my finger and then I used this one and I liked it. So I started using that. And then I have my strips. Again, these just go with my meter. They are the Vario IQ strips from One Touch. And this has the control solution numbers on it. So um, control range should be 102 to 138, if you guys can see that. So I have this little guy in here and I did keep it on like the little like case because I like having it all in one spot and I can just pull the whole thing out and check my blood sugar. The next thing I have in here is a snack. Um, I hate, hate, hate with a passion absolutely hate um, glucose tablets. 
despise them. They're disgusting, never liked them, never have, never will. So I stick to granola bars. I love granola bars. They're easy. They raise my blood sugar really, really well. Um, for my body, they work. For some people, I know that they don't work probably very well. But I like the Nature Valley Sweet and Salty ones because they come in almond, cashew, and peanut. And all of them are protein, and protein helps raise your blood sugar. So I have the Almond Nature Valley Granola Bar, and these have 22 carbs for one of them. So... I really, really like them and they're really, really easy to take with me. The last thing I have in here is a um, sight change, or I call them insets, sight change, inset, same thing. Um, this is actually the inset 30. I use two different kinds of insets and I'm actually going to, once I show you this, put everything back in the bag with the um, T90 inset as well so you guys can see that both of them fit. But this is the one I use in my stomach. Um, and then I use the T90 in my leg. Um, but if I were to be somewhere, it really doesn't matter to me which one I have. Um, but they both fit in here, which is great. So this is just the inset 30, like I said. So everything fits super, super well in this bag. I'm super pleased with my purchase. I thought it was a great deal. Um, for $17. So I will leave a link to this bag down below so you guys can purchase it. I doubt you can get this pattern anymore. You might be able to, but I'll leave a link to this wristlet down below. So I'm going to put everything back in here and show you how it'll fit with this type of inset. Okay, so I have the T90 sight change in here. It is a little bulkier towards the end where it is, if you can't tell, but it does zip up in here super nicely. As you can see, I just have everything back in here, but I switched out the sight change. So they do both fit right in that little gap and then the bag does zip up perfectly. So, yeah. So I was sitting up there when I filmed the majority of this video, but I didn't really feel like moving back. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know by giving it a huge thumbs up. Can we reach 10 thumbs up? That'd be great. Give this video a thumbs up, like I said. Um, if you are interested in this style of wristlet from Vera Bradley, I will link it down below. Um, and yeah, I'm super pleased and I hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, I will talk to y'all in my next video. Bye.